We will now perform the Shinobi Gai Shigata. In the 12 techniques of the Shinobi Gai Shigata are taught methods of entering an enemy's residence or of escaping when discovered by an enemy or necessary methods of climbing walls to enter unnoticed or climbing trees to escape or using large trees. These are the ideas for use in various situations. We will now look at each of these techniques. The first technique is Kasane Gaishi. This is for climbing walls. The walls around Japanese homes had peaked roofs. This teaches how to climb onto those walls. Place an elbow onto the side of the roof facing the street. Then the other hand grips the inside edge of the roof. Hoisting your body up on top, conceal yourself on the inside surface of the roof so you cannot be seen from the street. Hasane Gaishi teaches this method of climbing. Next is Kasane Dori. From a position on the inside surface of the roof of a wall, an enemy approaches on the street. Swing your body like a pendulum out onto the other side. Kick, then quickly go back up and hide inside in the yard. Here is the technique. This was for suddenly appearing over the peak of a wall, kicking the opponent in the face and rebounding back inside the wall. That is all for Kasane Gaishi. The technique called Soratobi is for escaping from an enemy's pursuit. This involves unexpectedly climbing into a tree, throwing Senban at your opponents from above, then escaping. The method of climbing taught here is to leap into the tree, then jump up to the next higher branch. Now we will look at this technique.
This is Soratobi, leaping up to a second branch, then throwing down Senban to attack. That is all. Next is Yokonagare. Here, one enemy with a sword comes from in front, and one enemy with a spear from behind. Throw a stone at the enemy in front, giving the other opponent a chance to attack. He thrusts into the other enemy. The distance and timing is taught in Yokonagare. Let's look at this. This is Yokonagare. Use the opponent's shout to calculate the distance, so he stabs his partner. This is Yokonagare. Use the Yokonagare movement to escape from that place, and finish with Zanshin. Next is Ushiro Nagare. Here, three opponents with swords or spears approach from the front. Here again, calculate the distance and the fullness of the opponent's intentions for timing, and throw Metsubushi at all three. Using that opening, roll backward to escape from that place. Let's begin. This is Ushiro Nagare. As the opponents are hit by the Mitsubushi, for an instant they lose sight of their target. Escape using this opening. Next is Nakagaishi. This is for a time when, walking normally, one is followed by somebody who is closing the distance. Flip over twice, taking the enemy by surprise. As the opponents flinch or are surprised, escape. This is Nakagaishi. Let's begin. In this way, one can surprise the opponent and conceal oneself. This is the lesson of Nakagaishi.
Next is Yoko Gaishi. Here, the opponent comes from the right and front, approaching when you are facing straight ahead. Flip sideways, then escape with Yoko Aruki. Let's begin. In this way, as the opponents come, flip to the side, then quickly conceal yourself with Yoko Aruki. Next is Tobichigai. This is for using shiko to climb a tree which is too thick for an ordinary person to climb. This is training for how to use shiko. Here, the shiko are used to climb a tree too thick to climb barehanded. This is the teaching of this technique. Next is Itto Nage. This is for times when one is injured or unable to move. For a situation of surviving against great odds, throwing your sword right at the opponent. This is Itto Nage. For example, if your leg is injured and you are unable to move, if an opponent comes, throw your sword straight. When you can't move, throw your sword in this way. This is Ittonage. In this way, for surviving against great odds, having faith and throwing your sword is the teaching of this technique. Next is Teppan Nage. This is to teach how to throw the shuriken characteristic of the Togakure Ryu, the Senban. Put your left knee down and hold the Senban in the palm of your hand. Place your finger at the edge. Use your wrist in a snapping movement and in the beginning practice spinning them in place. This is the first step, practicing the wrist snap. This is how to practice initially, the snapping of the wrist. 
Once they stay straight, the next step is to learn how to throw them forward at a target. Finally, one must be able to throw shuriken while wearing shuko. When wearing shuko, the hands do not close as easily as before, so you must lightly hook with your fingertips to throw. Also, they can be thrown in the opposite direction, to the left side. This is Teppan Nage. Next is Kirikaishi. The ninja's sword is shorter. Hold it in Nakaseigan, slightly lower than eye level. Your arms will be pulled in more than an Ichi no Kamae. Stand in this way, come out with a thrust, and as the opponent shifts to one side, cut to Do. Practice this. Let's begin. This is Kirikaishi. The final technique is called STEMI. Against a large number of adversaries, when there is nowhere to back away, and enemies are in front, you need to break through somewhere. Start by moving towards the captain, the leader of the group. Then, turn on your heels and cut down the weakest looking person to break through the encirclement. Now we will begin. This completes the 12 techniques of the Shinobi Gai Shigata. Various teachings are contained here, each of which is different from the others. Each of these is for concealed entry, or for escaping from a pursuing enemy, or for using walls, 
or how to climb trees, Mitsugushi, Senban, the uses of the characteristic weapons of the Togakure Ryu are taught here. That is all for the Shinobi Gai Shigata.